Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it is Friday, which means I got to talk about a music resource tool or strategy. And today is a little special because today we got to talk about what OG Lava said in one of my videos. Branding is actually a part of marketing. Branding is a subcategory of marketing. Marketing entails all activities. Promotion is the act of creating awareness. Marketing entails research, branding analysis, placement, and even sales. That is right. Some of it is wrong slash arguable. So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about marketing. Well, if you've taken any kind of marketing class, the primary thing they always say is the four P's and the first P is product. So what is product? Product is your music. Product is maybe you the artist or product is a book. Product is whatever kind of food it is. Product is the item that's being exchanged. And the next thing is price, which is pretty straightforward, right? It costs however much it costs. Some people won't be able to afford certain things and some people will be able to afford certain prices and you're trying to match a price with whoever your demographic is and what they are willing to pay for. And now for promotion, this is where OG Lava corrected me and said promotion is a part of marketing. I don't know if I mentioned that in the video that promotion wasn't a part of marketing but if i did thanks for correcting me og lava promotion for all intents and purposes if you want to go buy a textbook is just creating awareness and anything that's creating awareness is promotion but i'm not going to get into my own thoughts about promotion right now just because i want to go through this straight and narrow and the last P is place, which is making sure basically your stuff is in the right place. Now this one could be a little bit confusing, but think about making sure whatever your product is, is in a place that makes sense for the audience, whoever you're trying to get. Oftentimes when people say making sure it's in the right place at the right time, for instance, when you have gum at the checkout, that's placement. If you, for example, Bill B used to ride a school bus with me and I remember when he started going out to do some performances, just hearing about it because I was too young ago. As a matter of fact, I think he was too young to be performing in some of the places he was performing. But one thing that I remember, one story that sticks out is I remember when he went to a club and performed with a guitar on stage. And trust me, the club that he went to, I can't remember the name of it right now, the club that he went to, let's just say he was performing in front of the wrong audience, right? We're talking about a time where like people running around still doing all this. He had a guitar on stage. They didn't know what to do with that music, but the placement was off. He was something different. So there were other audiences that would have been more receptive. And there's a lot of artists in general who are performing in front of the wrong crowds when they go to these open mics or some of these um, showcases. That's pretty much marketing in a nutshell from an academic standpoint. And, and anytime you get you know, purely academic things kind of get left out. But that's neither here nor there. Now the big thing is saying that branding is a part of marketing. Branding is not a part of marketing. That's arguable. Some people might want to say that it is, but branding is not a part of marketing. Marketing is all of those activities that I mentioned, those four Ps. Branding is something that informs your marketing. That's what helps you decide where you're going to place a product. That's what helps you decide where you're going to price a product. That's what helps you decide how you promote a product, but it's not even the product itself, right? It's the same thing when you look at a company like Apple and them wanting to be a higher tier in terms of their pricing. They want to be considered something luxury. The product itself is the daggone Mac or it's the iPhone. And because of the brand, the perceived value and brand they want to have, which is that extra stuff, is why Mac puts a certain price tag, because a certain price tag helps it be perceived as luxury. And if you go under it, people start to see it as something else. It ruins the brand. It's why and sales is completely separate as well. Sales is that exchange of the product. It's getting the buy, getting the clothes. They are not the same things. Marketing, branding, and sales are not the same thing, and people fail to do them well when they treat them as such. And each one of those has their own research that goes into it. Now, if you look at it like a triangle, having a strong brand gives you something to have better marketing with. And the better your marketing and branding, the easier it is to sell, and then you kind of create a vicious cycle in that way, right? Because when you sell a product also, if the product is great, it makes the marketing easier because once somebody has it, they start to spread word for you, word of mouth. That triangle is supposed to work together. Oh, Illuminati. I'll go into deeper details and some really interesting examples of each specific area 
on another video. But for now, I just wanted to put it out there just so we can have that general discussion and understanding for people who don't. And also, if you disagree with what I said and you want to challenge it, go ahead and do that in the comments. Let's get this conversation going. And other than that, if you like this video, you might as well hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. But if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.